These are promises you can stand on. Psalms chapter 103, starting at verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, and crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Mm. who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He maketh known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. 17 and 18. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting to them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children. To such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandments to do them. All right. Now, what I want to share real quick, just a quick thought on that. We don't realize the promises we have. See, people tell us all the time, I'm going to meet you around the corner at the restaurant at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. You're sitting there at the restaurant. They totally forgot they said they were going to do anything. Just, you know, people are fickle, you know, out of sight, out of mind. They forget. But God doesn't forget. When he says he's going to do something, you can take it to the bank, baby. You can seal it in cement. It's done. As quickly as he said it, it's done. You may not see the manifestation, but it's done. So what I want to share with you is God gave us precious promises and the the two main ones that we lean on as we walk with his son Christ is forgiveness and mercy, total redemption, and healing of all diseases. But I'm going to take it a step further. He does not only heal your diseases, he heals your mind. He heals your heart. He heals your spirit. He heals the brokenness in your life. He heals and restores those things that have been eaten up, destroyed, and consumed in your life. He heals your self-esteem. He heals your strength. He restores all of that. So, always know that God does way more when he died on the cross and he took those, those whips and those cuts on his back from, from the beatings. By his stripes, we are healed. Well, those stripes cover every area of healing there is possible on the face of this planet. Any kind of healing, any source of healing, any area of healing, he heals. Whether tangibly or intangibly, he heals. He puts back together uh, the old uh, uh, verse that says, the potter wants to put you back. It's a song. The potter wants to put you back together again. And when he puts you back together, you're way better than you ever knew yourself before. All right. Now, another thing to remember. God satisfies. When he gives you inner satisfaction, he satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle. When you're tired, you feel old, right? 
But when you have that that satisfaction, that inner satisfaction where you're totally content, you're at peace, you're settled deep down inside. It's like your youth is renewed. You have a renewed energy, a renewed hope, a renew, uh, everything is renewed in you. And you're able to press forward at times when other people would just give up throwing the towel and in some cases commit suicide. But God renews us. Even in the storm, he renews us. You notice when the, the, the storm was beating against the boat, Jesus was laying in that boat sleeping. He was being renewed himself by his Father in heaven while the boat was being whipped all over the place by the ocean. He was being renewed. When God gives you a rest, when you enter into his rest, his peace, his contentment, his satisfaction, you cannot be moved. I don't care what the devil throws at you. You cannot be moved. That's what Jesus meant when he said, the gates of hell will not prevail. Mm -hmm. No matter what comes, the gates of hell will not prevail because you're standing on solid ground. You're, you're on a strong, sure foundation. No matter what's whipping, no matter what's blowing, you're steadfast, unmovable, unshakable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. God's mercy is plentiful. He never runs out of mercy. He knows when you're playing, but he knows when you're trying and failing and trying and failing, but you keep trying. You're not playing games with him saying, I'm sorry to escape that booty whooping. No, you really are sorry. And you really are trying. And God knows the difference. He knows the heart. When people judge the outward appearance, God judges your heart. You got a good judge on your side, y'all. It ain't like somebody sitting up there getting a salary for sitting on a bench. They got a whole lot of secret agendas going on. Why they let some people go and why they incarcerate others without any mercy. They got a lot of secret agendas. A lot, of, a, a lot of sinful intentions. But when God judges you, baby, it's true. It's real. And it's in love. Even if he's got to take you to the woodshed, it's in love. All right. Now, when you have God on your side, you notice that there are a lot of things that you've gotten away with because you ask God for forgiveness. He covers you. Bible says love covers a multitude of sin. Who is love? God is love. And God, yes, he covers a multitude of our sins. When he could expose us and show our dirty laundry to the whole world, he does not. He chooses to hide us and cover us until we get our act together. He gives us time because he's long suffering. He's patient. He's understanding. And some of y'all forget. You lose sight of the fact that God is understanding. Okay. Anyway, I hope that encourages you. Know that God is on your side. God is for you, not against you. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Please. God bless you. Be encouraged with the promises of God and the benefits. Amen.